hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do a quick makeup tutorial this is a great um tutorial for people that don't really know too much about makeup um they're starting off they want something quick it's quarantine so um a lot of people aren't really going places um but if they are having something in the house they want to still look good or if you know they happen to be going to dinner or something like that this is a great tutorial for that get started i've washed my face and i use this urban skin rx which i spoke about in my last video i did a ulta haul and i wanted to use this for uh these dark spots that i have around here and honestly it's been really great it's been working i love it and um this one right here is brand new so <laughs> it's uh popping up but um i also have been using this up circle face serum so usually um i'm not really crazy about face serums because they clog my pores and then that i end up breaking out like that um but this one has been really great it hasn't clogged any of my pores i don't use it every single day only when i feel like my my face is super dry or um just when I want a little extra on my face, I will use this. And then, of course, my CeraVe. I want to apologize about the lighting. Um, my The little portable uh, light that I have that I usually use. Um, it seems like it's dying or the batteries are dying. So that's not really working out, but I'm out here in the living room hoping that the natural light will make it better or easier for you to see exactly what I'm putting on my face. Um, you need to really be careful where you apply your makeup. So usually I would apply it in my bathroom and um, I didn't realize that the lighting in my bathroom, it's like super yellow and it was affecting the way I was putting on my makeup so sometimes like i would do my makeup and i would come out and nothing would be really blended i looked crazy and my husband would be like what are you doing <laughs> i'd rather you not wear any makeup than go out like that <laughs> um so for those that are just starting off wearing makeup lighting is super important so recently i've been putting on my makeup out here in the living room um where there's uh, natural lighting or um you know like just just be cautious of like the tones of the light that you're around so i am going to start off with this mega illuminating moisturizer it's by glam glow and this is amazing um i first they gave me um a little like a sample and it's like super small you can like get them at sephora usually with points or something like that and this is in the nude glow and um this is great to apply just just like without anything else um so sometimes if i know that um sometimes at work if i'm gonna go into the office i'll just put this on and nothing else because i know i'm gonna be like eight hours with my mask on it has a little slight tint so it does even your skin tone and it makes your skin glow so um for example for like my sister and um, my younger sister she's starting off with makeup she'll ask me like what she should use or you know when she's going to like a party or something she'll want to put something on and obviously like she's young so i wouldn't recommend like foundation or something like that so this is great for her she has beautiful skin and she doesn't need anything else. However, if you do want 
something with more color or that's still not foundation i used this one for years this l'oreal bb cream in the shade medium and this is super great it primes perfects hydrates and corrects another thing i never used to use foundation and this was always my go-to i would always use this so on days where i feel like i need a little bit more coverage than the glam glow i will wear this one and only this one um so this is also i would you know recommend this one today i'm gonna be taking some pictures so for foundation i really like this Givenchy. um everywhere it's 24 hour wear satin finish full coverage and it even has spf 20. let me tell you this this is just so amazing i don't really know about the shade i think it's 215 y215 that's all i see on the bottom but um this just goes on so light let me just find my brush and um it's just so i just put it on straight onto my brush one pump is really enough and then i work my way around kind of going towards the outside so you always want to move away from the center I don't know if you guys can tell but it's super light i mean this color was like made for me <laughs> and i just kind of work my way using really i only ever need one pump and then you want to make sure that you hit your neck a little bit right because you don't want your face to be one color and your neck to be another color right so i just ah! okay so i just work my way out down here and that is that So next is concealer. Now concealer is great for under eyes or if you have like any blemishes like pimples or any dark spots that you want to cover up. Most of the time if I'm just wearing this and nothing else um, as in like a foundation or like another base, I will just put like the concealer right on and I really like this NARS concealer. It's Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've been using this for years and it's so amazing. I've also tried the Too Faced um, Tape, something like that, concealer. And that one is really good too, but I felt like it would cake up sometimes or like just like get really heavy. This one doesn't. So I will just kind of like Go like this and then down and down right then i'll like put some on my little nose and then over here my chin area that's where i have like all of my blemishes and stuff and then my around my mouth is usually like the area where it's like darkest um because i'm wearing the mask every single day I have been breaking out a lot around this area so that's that now if you are wearing a mask and you just want like the simple stuff like maybe just not not too crazy I would recommend not putting any more like concealer or any more makeup on this area or then it's gonna go all on your mask um, so for on days that I go into the office I'll really just wear this Put some concealer under my eyes and 
that's pretty much it if not by the end of the day like all my makeup will be on my mask this actually since it doesn't have like it has like a slight tint um it won't get on the mask i've i've tried it plenty of times times and um maybe there'll be like a little like hints of something on the mask but nothing crazy so caroline this is for you okay so next while that settles in and this is something i learned you want to let it kind of like sit there for a little while so that it could kind of like get into the skin because if you go right quick and you start like dabbing or whatever you're just removing all the makeup off your face so i usually have like a little blender and i'll dab but i'm gonna let that sit i'm gonna go with my eyebrows um i use this anastasia brow wiz another one that i've been using for years and i never there was a time where i kind of like tried to use something else like a drugstore um pencil and it just was not the same so um so the reason why i use this eyebrow pencil is because i have some bald spots on the top here i mean i just penciled it in so you can't really see um and i really just use it to fill that in just the top and that's it um so if you have full eyebrows you probably don't even need this stuff here just ignore that all right um okay so i think my concealer is pretty good now so i'm gonna go in with my brush i mean with my blender i also use this other brush this elf brush that's like a concealer some sort of concealer and i'll kind of like work my way in like um circular motions um but i kind of like this um blender thing a little bit more and then i just dab it in right it's like i'm pushing the product inside and then i i work my way up to my eye lids as well because you don't want your eyelids to be a different color right and i do the bottom too dab my nose great so you want to do it as much as you can so it doesn't you know that's why they say um oh they beat your face or you know like when you go to like a makeup artist and they'll be like oh you got your face beat or whatever because you know it you're like literally beating your face <laughs> okay So now, last step, almost there. All right, this Wet and Wild is bomb. This Wet and Wild highlighting powder in the shade Crown of My Canopy. This is another one I've used for a really long time, and this is like a multi-purpose. It's so good. Look, I even have like two. Um so i'll use this for my cheeks i'll use this on my nose i'll use this as eyeshadow i use this for everything because it's that good it looks great on everything so i am just going to go with so let's say i want to do some a little eyeshadow right um sometimes you don't even need to do much to your face if i know i'm gonna have a lot of meetings at work i'll just you know wear this some concealer and Put some eyeshadow on my eyes and that will be it and i'll look like you know i actually tried <laughs> so with like a regular brush or something that you have i'm just going to start at the bottom and kind of like you know work on my eyelid 
nothing crazy i usually like to bring it up on the top here just a little bit make it pop and that's it my camera is not cooperating today and that is pretty much all i do to my eyes i am not going to do this part but i will just tell you about it so if you like to do your eyebrows a lot and um you know you didn't really have time to get them done for whatever event you're getting ready for my little trick is this little brush here right and i'll get some concealer and this nars concealer is amazing for it i'll put some on the brush and i'll work around my um eyebrows covering up all the um, little stray hairs um and matter of fact i will do it just for the sake of the video just do 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 and then i'll just this brush is great because it's super flat and angled i actually think it's called like the angle brush i got it from sephora um now since this is like a beginner's tutorial type of makeup look this isn't even like a necessity part so if you want to skip this you totally can and this will just like i probably should have done this before i did my eyeshadow absolute thing but i didn't and it's my world so i do what i want and then if i want i'll just go back in with my eyeshadow brush and then i'll like bring it up a little bit just so it doesn't look too crazy i'll leave this part here if i want to put like a little highlighter or something but i'm not gonna do it at, in this video and lastly just oh actually this could also go on my cheekbones and just another regular brush or as some people do you just smile and then you see your cheekbone and then you swipe up Less is more when with these type of um, brush. And then you can even just do it on the outside. Like that, kind of framing your face. And with a blending brush, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is nice and blended. So I know it seems like there's a lot of different brushes and a lot of different steps, but um, you know, if you have like one brush that works for you or e.l.f. has a lot of affordable items, some of e.l.f.'s brushes are like five bucks. So if you just wanna start off with that and they'll have, um, so like for example, this one is like, this one is called ultimate blend brush so if you go to elf or online on elf they'll have like what it's for the the brush i'm sure they have like a foundation brush i'm sure they have you know like um like eyebrow brush or like an eyeshadow brush and they're really inexpensive so if you want to start off that way with something cheaper you can and then you can work yourself up with to the more expensive items so i use that on my cheek and then i'm just gonna finish off with some mascara this is the telescopic l'oreal mascara and it looks kind of funny actually because it there's doesn't even look like there's a brush on there but 
I'm gonna start off from the bottom looking up and I am just gonna shake it a little bit once I'm at the bottom and make sure I get all the product at the bottom and then bring it up slowly the bottom and then um, there's some people that really like the um, like the clummy look um, but I don't really like that look so I just make sure that I get all the clumps out and then the other side the bottom make sure you also want to make sure you get the inside uh, this honestly so another trick is after you put on your mascara you don't want to be looking up or moving your eyes around too much you want to give it some time so it could dry so you can just you know air it out a little bit if not you'll get all your mascara on your eyeshadow so i just get some air in there and um <clears throat> if you're gonna be wearing your mask there is no need for any lip things going on. Um, maybe some chapstick. Um, but if you aren't going to be wearing your mask, then I like to do a little lip, eye, uh, lip liner with um, some lipstick. But also this L'Oreal lipstick it's like completely worn out so i can't even tell you the name but it's in the shade 505 and this is amazing on its own it has like a little shine to it and a little color it's like pinkish i like to put some liner on But it's unnecessary honestly this is just like what i like so if you're going for a, a minimal look obviously you don't need the liner but right now i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on and it's super cute that's all i need and that's pretty much my whole look it's super quick obviously it wasn't quick because of the video i was recording and explaining everything but really um this could be super quick something's in the morning i'll get ready and like less than five minutes it's because i already know what i'm doing and it's quick so yeah i'll link all the products down below if you want to check it out if you have any other questions like if you're just starting off and you have any more questions leave them down below in the comment area or if you have some tricks that you would like to share because you just started doing makeup too or anything that maybe i'm doing wrong and you want to be like hey this works better just leave it all in the comment area and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so and i will see you next time